today I'm sharing with you a declutter and organisation of underneath my kitchen sink. Now I did this about a year ago and I will leave it either link below or at the top for you so you can head on over and see how I did it. However, since then it has gone to pot. I have recently done another declutter in my kitchen as well. So I've got two of those on my channel now and the latest one I'm super chuffed with. I'm just waiting for some labels to arrive and it'll be like the final like result as such but today i'm going to work on under my kitchen sink i decided to leave that in a different video because i was waiting for builders to come and sort out some issues around my kitchen sink and they basically wrecked it under there and i'm going to show you what it looks like and it's pretty bad so if you want to see me declutter and organize underneath this sink then just keep watching okay are you ready for the cupboard of doom right now <laughs> this is horrific i can't believe i'm showing this oh my golly gosh if you saw my cupboard last year you would have seen how organized this was i had like a plastic bag carrier down here i had different like hook things down here and the builders going underneath my sink what seven eight times in the past under a year have destroyed it so it needs to be organized it needs to be decluttered i'm going to sort out some more storage boxes it just needs to be sorted. Last year you would have seen, and I'll try and insert a shot if I can find one, but this was organized with containers, the gray containers that were labeled up. So I had like a dishwashing tablet, a laundry one, and another one which I can't remember. But it was all labeled up. However, they were very big and very bulky. Oh, I had a big laundry tin, that was it. They were very big and very bulky. So I've gotten rid of those and I've stripped it back. And I'm just gonna keep everything as minimal as possible. I don't need a lot of cleaning products. I don't use all of these cleaning products all at once. There are a lot of just staple items in here that I use, but it's just about being more effective with what I've got. Um, I've never been into the hoarding a million different cleaning products, but each cleaning product does have its own use. And ignore the drilling outside. I'm so sorry, they're very nearly done building where I am. I'm hoping that in a few months time, we will have tranquility and there'll be no more building noises. But yeah, I'm gonna get on, I'm gonna declutter this, I'm gonna take it all out, give it a good clean. This is obviously where they've replaced the bottom shelf, so I need to take away all of this blue film. I'm gonna give it all a good clean and then start organizing it. And just so you're aware, these are some of the bits that I've got. So I picked these up in Home Bargains, but I believe B&M sell them now for exactly the same price. So these are like two odd pounds and they're like airtight locks. So I'm planning to use these for a few different bits, which you'll see. And then I did the same in my kitchen one, but I also picked up some of these tubs. I had these ones left over from my kitchen declutter. I'm hoping there's gonna be enough, like just having these two. And um, if not, then I may need to go out and repurchase some more, but we shall see. If not, I may just steal some from some other locations. So I know how I want it organised and I can go and buy some more a bit later on. But yeah, fingers crossed I can get this sorted. And I don't know if I mentioned but those ones are from Ikea. So these ones are from Home Bargains or B&M and the white tubs are from Ikea. So super cheap and affordable. Okay, let's get empty in. All that I do is wait for you. way i think i'm going to start by sorting out some of the bits so 
I'm gonna grab one of these containers. <clears throat> I'm gonna move my laundry tablets into them because these are like this tight and they're obviously a lot smaller and I don't need anything this big. Much better, and now I can get rid of that because I don't like the idea of a ton of glass being where my kids can reach. So, there's that, and that's all airtight now. And then I'm also going to grab another one for my dishwasher tablets, wherever they are. They're all in there now as well, which is fab. Already loving how much better that's looking. Got another one of these for my dishwasher salt. I'm hoping this will all go in. Let's see. Which it does. That's perfect. And then lastly, I've got my soda crystals as well. So I'm gonna pop some of my soda crystals in there. nice and neatly organized now as well so i've got some bits i just don't need anymore this is to an old mop so that can go into recycling some of this stuff i don't know if it goes out of date or not so i'm gonna have a look through now so this is my zoflora box and it's not very zoflory i'm actually gonna get rid of a few of the christmas ones i don't actually like any of the christmas ones so i think i'm just gonna throw all of those out and get rid of them because they're literally just oh, storing in my cupboard and taking up a lot of space i can see i've got four at the moment i'm gonna just keep on doing i've got four at the moment so i'm gonna get rid of those I don't really need new friends, so spend your time. providing no more come and make their way out of the woodwork all of my zoflora's fit in there which is fab because they can now go back in there. And they'll fit under there like that. And they'll go in there like that, which is perfect. So my Zifloras are all in there. So that just leaves me with my last little bits now. So, for anyone wondering, this is Fabulosa, it's not fab. I picked it up from my bargain and I'm not a fan, so don't waste your money on it. So I'm gonna get rid of that. Okay, I've got some soap and this Neutradol, which I know I wanna put out. I'm gonna leave them up there, I wanna use those. I've also got some color catchers. So I've got Dr. Beckman and I've got these like Dylon ones, but there's no need for two boxes. So I may as well take them out and pop them into one box. So I may end up having to use some of these. I think I still need some white ones. Um, organizing what I need to do. So I think this is going to be for white. Yeah, so there's all my white. So they can go in a basket and go there like so. I'm definitely going to go and grab a white one of these for that, but just for the time being so I know what I need. Then this is my laundry detergent, so I always want that at the front. And I always keep this little basket here as well. This has just got like a couple of my spare things. So like toothbrushes are always handy to go in there. And I have like my little sonic cleaner as well. So that can go in there. orientated that I don't use a lot it's my carpet fresh that one I don't use a lot but I'm probably gonna put them in like an order of like my favorites actually I like all of these just as much probably gonna get rid of this plastic bottle I use this as like a zoflora spray but I actually upgraded to some glass ones so I'm probably gonna get rid of that Without 
Then I'm going to fill up my daily basket. So I always like to put elbow grease in there. I also like to have a disinfectant spray. So this Dettol one is perfect. Obviously, I like to have some polish. A room spray is always good for like just your everyday basket that you need. I also like a fabric spray as well. So I'll pop that in. Then obviously, I have got... Do I put it back in? I feel like I've put it, put it back in. Have. My window and glass spray, which I always like in this basket as well. I don't need my stainless steel cleaners in there, so they can go in there like so. I also always have my magic erasers, although I'm running low on those, so I definitely need to pick up some more. And then it's always good to have a bottle of bleach as well, so I'll pop that in there. And also I'll pop some of these blue things in as well, so I've got all of those my little duster, that's my daily basket, and then a Dettol spray as well. So that can go just there. Oh, and actually I need one of these in here. That one's running really low. Maybe we'll swap it up. There we go. So that's my daily basket just there. And I feel like I haven't made the most out of this as I probably could have done. I'm not quite sure how it's going to work for space. I'm wondering if I can get all my laundry products in this one here. Um, let's have a look and see if I can do that. And if it'll work space-wise. Because I have quite a lot of laundry stuff. So it'd be fab if I could get it all in. And then I know that it's like all organised together. Okay, so this is the final organization of under my kitchen sink. There are a few little bits that I still wanna do. So I wanna change this to a white basket here. Then I'm gonna label up these baskets here, here, and then, then one's there. I'm also gonna label up these boxes and the ones that are towering in the back. And I'm also just basically gonna work through a lot of these products. Like I said, I've got like three or four different like carpet freshes. And obviously I'm just gonna work through like any spares that I've got. I've got a lot of Zoflora's. I'll probably always have that many Zoflora's because that's just kind of my thing. Um, but then yeah, I think there's a few other products. Like I seem to have a lot of glass cleaners and air fresheners and things like that, leeches and stuff like that. So hopefully I can work through them. I always like to have an array of sponges just so I've got them ready to use. I go through these ones really quickly all the time as I find that they get really like manky and I like using them for things like out in the garden because they're really cheap to pick up. Then my microfiber cloths are all packed neatly in here as well. So yeah, I'm really chuffed of how this has come out. My little like grab basket for all my cleaning is down here. So there's all the bits that I will need just to bring around the house with me so I know that I've got everything. And then there's other products in the bathrooms and stuff. But yeah, mine is changing a few little bits and like the baskets and stuff. This is so much more organized and I finally know where everything is again. Well guys, I hope you've enjoyed watching me clean and declutter underneath my kitchen sink. If you have, then I would love for you to give me a thumbs up. I'm also looking to declutter our wardrobes. Oh my gosh, I'm absolutely dreading it. So if you want to see that video, comment below letting me know. And I will see you all again in another video very shortly. Bye guys! I don't know how we got here Oh my, I think we better run We ought to leave this place tonight I 
I'm telling you.